Good morning, Trinity and friends. It's Friday, June 19th. I'm glad to be together with you this morning. I thought we'd talk for a minute this morning about uh, hope and prayer and uh, making a difference. Um, hope of, is one of the most powerful um, entities or energies in our life. And uh, I wanted to read, first of all, something for, that Robert F. Kennedy wrote. Um, I use a little bit of it this morning and maybe some more on Monday. He said, each time a person stands up for an ideal or acts to improve the lot of others or strikes out against injustice, they send forth a tiny ripple of hope. So I think that's important that we uh, allow God to make us that little ripple of hope in our daily life here on June 19th. And incidentally, I wanted to say something about June 19th. I mentioned it Sunday, this coming Sunday in the sermon, and that is that um, it's a very important special day for the African-American community, and it's one which uh, so many of the, the rest of us um, just never really learned about, which is to our deficit. Uh, but June 19th is a day celebrating freedom because it refers back to June 19th, 1865, when federal troops um, in Galveston, Texas, for the first time, their federal commander read to the uh, former slaves there that they had been freed by proclamation, the Emancipation Proclamation and Order of Lincoln two and a half years earlier. So it became Juneteenth or June 19th, an important day when it wasn't just a ripple of hope, it was a mighty wave and river. Um, and hope is so powerful, as I said, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that figures mightily in Scripture. Look at chapter 5 of Romans. Suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. So I think the uh, key for this day and this weekend is to look for ways that God can use us as a ripple of hope in a world that is so much in need of it. You know, we've got continuing uh, multiple crises that um, we're working our way through, and we know for every crisis there's an opportunity for learning and growth and advancement. We've been feeling that all these months together, that together we can be that ripple of hope. One of you suggested that I use the serenity prayer and talk about that. I thought I'd use it today, and then again, we can talk more about it on Monday. But the serenity prayer was uh, written by Reinhold Niebuhr, an important theologian, about 1950 or 51, and let's pray it together. God, give me grace to accept with serenity the things that cannot be changed, courage to change the things which should be changed, and the wisdom to distinguish the one from the other, living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will, so that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen. And let's pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Have a good day and a, and a good weekend, and be that ripple of hope wherever you can. Take care.